Hi Taurus, this is Amani and welcome to your daily messages for March 9th, 2017. Okay, the deck that I will be using for you is the Tarot of Orisha. Okay, I've been waiting for a while to get my hands on this deck. It's really great. I love it a lot uh, so far. Okay, today's my first day using it. Also with this deck, um, it is like the right away deck in terms of like the meanings of the cards, but uh, the messages that come off of them of these are a bit stronger in terms of the connection to the clairvoyance all right so i really love these and i hope that you do too okay all right so for the beginning part of your day the morning you got the four of fire here okay the four of fire has to do with uh like in the rider wake it has a lot to do with um stability all right it's like the four of wands all right so you do have stability you just moved your you've happily planted your seeds whether that be in career or like in a new home you finally got all your boxes unpacked all right you finally are settled in now and happy is what i feel like okay but be very careful of who's watching your happiness here, okay? Some people are a, a bit jealous, all right? A bit envious of your happiness, your relationships, all right? If this is going to be like a promotion, people are watching, all right? I feel like um, this feels to me like a situation where someone could have uh, told lies about you. You confronted them or you went to your boss and confronted that person through the boss, and they know about the confrontation, almost like a tattletaling kind of, kind of situation to me. But now it's like, even though it's like it worked out in your favor, it's it's looked at almost like an elementary school kind of situation where, oh, she told on me, like that kind of thing. So I'm just saying, like, be very careful of people around you in terms of, uh, you know, them being envious and watching, you know, being jealous, you know, just uh, keep an eye out for those kind of things. Because the five of air is like uh, the five of swords, okay? It has to do with backstabbing and manipulation, you know, things of that nature, okay? So just be very careful of who you keep in your circles, all right? If this is a situation where not only at work, but in your close, like, friendships and stuff like that, um people who you think are your friends don't really are not really feeling you or you're not really feeling them all right is the kind of feeling that i get okay this is almost like two-facedness all right for example like your girlfriend's friends uh they don't really like you that much or vice versa all right so uh they could be keeping how they really feel towards you they may not like you that much or you may not like them etc okay so just keep your eye out for a two-facedness and who you bring into your home all right so if these are two-faced friends that you're dealing with like your spouse or your boyfriend girlfriend etc their friends are coming into your house and they're trying to be all buddy buddy and cool with you but they really don't like you deep down inside but they're in your home you know but keep your eye out for those kind of people like that all right in the afternoon, you have the five of earth. The five of earth is like the five of pentacles here. Distasteful financial situation is what that means. Because if you look at the image, there's like a uh, there's like a, a ram or goat in the middle of a volcano. And there's like bats coming at it. Like it almost looks like it's dead. And there's bats coming at it. And it like, looks like they look hungry. All right. So that's how I feel with this card. There is some financial hungriness. All right, there's a need to take on a new position, another job to help support your partner in that case. Okay, but there's some kind of struggle with that. I feel like you don't feel like you have the skills or the, the, the education to take on a certain position. All right, I feel like it's trying to make its way into your energy space, but you're just not sure if you can do it or not. All right, be optimistic in that case. All right, the, uh, lay low on the pessimism. Okay, be more optimistic in the case. Okay, this will work out for me. I am going to get this position. I'm going to be able to do it, all right, without any um, negativity. To clarify, you do have the earth here, all right? The earth is like completion. But for this meaning off of this card for me, I always feel like um, you, are, you are heavily protected in terms of spiritually and in terms of... Uh, having people around you in terms of your protection like having people on your side all right having people surrounding you that are willing to help you out also is what i feel like but i'm looking at this and i'm looking at the snake is wrapped around the world 
All right, so be very careful of, like I said, who you bring into your home, but also who you are attracted to. Because I feel like some of you are already in a relationship, but I feel like uh, you are attracted to someone that is not healthy for you. All right, they're really not healthy for you. They may have tried to use you in the past. I feel like you've got some users around here. All right, even if you're in the center, you could be at the center of attention at your job or wherever you are. But I feel like you got some scholars hanging out on the side. All right, so just be very leery of people going on here around you. All right, how I also see this is that somebody possibly could have found out about your financial situation and they've been causing you some kind of grief. It's been causing you some kind of grief in that term that like somebody could be picking at you, like saying like, ha ha ha, you only make this much amount of money, like that kind of feeling. All right, so just watch out for that. Okay, in the evening time, you have the two of fire and you have the eight of water. Okay, the two of fire is like the two of wands in the right away. This is about being patient. In the image, I know it's a bit hard to see. There is a lioness on the right side and then there's a lion on the left. All right, so if this is like a partnership that you're in, all right, this feels more to me like, like you know, having patience with your partner and your partner needing patience with you in terms of you possibly needing to take on new work. Like I said, they're being patient. They're willing to work with you, but it's, it's tiring to them because with the eight of water, it's like the eight of cups. It's not a good situation financially, all right? I feel like you're possibly worried about losing a house, apartment, etc., all right? And there's just this heavy need to get a, another job very quickly, all right, is what I feel like. Because if you have children, you need to support your child, all right? If it's going to be a child support situation, um, alimony, etc., you're waiting to hear what the child's father and mother is going to have to bring to the table are they going to bring the, are they going to have enough money are they going to give me what I, they owe me etc okay at the end of the day you have uh oshumar and you have four of water oshumar is like the wheel of fortune in the right away okay and the four of water is at the four of cups okay this is about being detachment emotional detachment possibly i also always pick up like mental detachment like this all right, L literally your whole mind, body, and soul is detached from all things, people, and places, and experiences right now. Because you don't know what to do, all right? You feel a bit stuck, but you have Oshumar here. Like I said, um, this is a Wheel of Fortune, uh, but it has a lot to do with uh, destiny and good luck, all right? So you will come out of this feeling of not having enough money, not or, or waiting on someone to bring you money, but I feel like you're trying to find your own alleyways in terms of that, all right? good luck you do have good luck on your side there is a position that is waiting for you to take it so take it all right whether you can feel like you can do it or not you should take it all right if this is going to be sales or something take it you know it, it worth the try you, you need the extra income you know you can do it all right with this also i feel like um your relationship has reached a point where um it's been causing you to really think deep down into yourself about if you really want to stay with it or not i feel like to the other person it's a bit uh it's been a bit tiring for them but on your part i feel like um you're willing to stay and work with them but uh you're worried about uh how how to really go about doing that you don't not sure how to how to go about doing it right now is what i feel like okay causing some it's causing you some kind of depression it's causing them depression as well but uh there will be a chance for you to get out of that all right for the outcome for the day you have the seven of air which is like the seven of um seven of swords like the right awake okay this to me like if you look at the image there is there's a uh, seven birds in a nest all right so how and what in a, a tree that doesn't have any leaves all dried out and there's a lonely little sun right there right there and it almost seems to me as though like uh you're looking on but looking on down you feel like you're looking down like a dark canal of hopelessness is what i feel like okay but don't lose hope don't lose in whether you know your health you don't want to put your health uh too much on the line here also I feel like uh, it is going to be a seven. Also, I feel like in about a week, uh, things are going to change for you in terms of your finances. Uh, I feel like good luck is going to be uh, rolling 
up in your favor in about a week, okay? All right, so to clarify, you have the enslaved prisoner. The enslaved prisoner is the hanged man. The hanged man is all about really learning about situations in your life, how to how to come how to really come out alive basically out of a situation whether that be financial whether that be some truth coming to light about someone that you love you don't know how to handle it all right but it's all life is all a learning experience for a lot of people all right so i'm feeling like life is will change for you in about a week all right a lot of things are going to be changing for you in about another week all right and um expect uh i feel with this expect great things coming out all right expect great things i feel like you will uh get the exposure that you're looking for you will get it in about a week's time okay all right then taurus i hope that you enjoyed that I, I i definitely hope that it was beneficial to you um please also do not forget to like comment and share as always if you like a pr private reading with me you know where to contact my get my information okay all right then taurus take care bye